She helped one of New Mexico's most notorious predators with his crimes. Now a KRQE News 13 special assignment reveals the girlfriend of suspected serial killer David Parker Ray is about to get out of prison next week after serving only about half her sentence. Here is News 13's Lizay Mitri. Dean, for a lot of people, Cindy Hindi wasn't just an accomplice. Some people some believe she was just as cruel as her boyfriend, taking pleasure in torturing women in the infamous toy box. You will probably scream a lot, and that is exactly what I want you to do. It's what turns me on. It's a scene people in Elephant Butte will never forget. Unbelievable. It was just crazy. We are, we are shocked. Shocked. After one of his victims escaped in a steel collar and chains in 1999, David Parker raised tales of kidnapping and torturing women went national, along with the secrets of what he called his toy box, a trailer full of torture equipment like surgical tools and video cameras. Ray talked about burying bodies, but he wasn't a convicted killer. He died of a heart attack in 2002 while doing time for kidnapping and sexually torturing women. And his girlfriend, Cindy Hindi. Were you involved in any way? No. Kind of. But... Kind of? Yeah. She was convicted of those same crimes. Today we confirmed Hindi is scheduled to be released from prison on Monday, about 20 years into her 36-year sentence. I wish she would spend the rest of her life in prison. Darren White was the Department of Public Safety secretary when the crimes were exposed. We talked to him on special assignment two years ago when we learned Hendy was eligible to be released on parole. She was j just as much responsible for what took place in Elephant Butte than David Parker Ray. Now we know instead of getting out on parole then, Hendy served her two years of parole in prison. So the Department of Corrections says when she's released next week, she won't have to tell the state where she's living or what she'll be doing. No more state supervision. Hendy's plea deal came three months before a new law required violent criminals to serve at least 85% of their sentence. That's why with good time, she only had to serve about half. She's now 59. Back to you. All right, Lizzie, thank you. According to Corrections Department records, Handy was caught with stolen property in prison in Grants, then accused of having drugs at the facility in Springer. Clearly, those violations did not cost her much good time.